Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Korean Atlanta Mentorship. And in this video, we're going to talk about the importance of uh, being quiet, right? Uh, one of the things that uh, you'll probably come to understand is that most people are very negative. You ever notice that when you tell other people your ideas, they just kind of shoot them down? And it's like, you're kind of like wondering, well, why are you shooting them down? Like, did you try them? Or, you know, you want to do it with me? And then figure out if it's a bad idea or a good idea or not. And in my experience about... I will say 98% of people that I talk to uh, will tell me everything that I do is awful. Like, so when, you know, for I don't know what it is, but for some reason I share my ideas and they're like, oh, that, that wouldn't work. And I'm like, well, that you know, you're just another person on the list who wouldn't tell me that whatever I'm doing is working. So eventually I just learned, right? And again, I'm not a genius for figuring this out because look at all these YouTube videos about how talking about your goals is destroying your success. Keep your goals to yourself. TED Talk from 13 years ago. So there's a lot of um, material out there uh, from probably more than 20 years ago about how you need to shut up, right? If I were going to give myself some advice back when I turned from 17 to 18, it would have been just shut up, right? Don't tell anybody anything. Just go to college, you know, get that, you know, look like you're trying hard to get that good job and then just learn to shut up and then do what it is that whatever you're doing and agree with other people. Like, just agree with them, right? Like, if somebody tells me, yeah, yeah, um, Velocity Banking is a scam, and just just agree with them and then figure out for yourself if if you're going to do it or not, right? Figure it out. But, but don't argue with people, oh my goodness, let me tell you why my idea is so good, because most people are negative. And they're not negative because, you know, they had a traumatic event like a car accident. They're telling you not to, you know, drive recklessly. They're just being negative for being negative, right? Most people are like that. I didn't know this until I got rid of most people in my life. Like, you want to know where, where the money, where like the money came from? It's getting rid of the negative people and getting rid of negative people is easy when you learn to shut up, right? So let's go ahead and ask uh, ChatGPT, why is it a bad idea to tell other people my goals, right? And ChatGPT knows because this, you know, ChatGPT is a very advanced search engine, right? We'll, we'll say it like that, but... Basically, ChatGPT knows, hold on, let me turn on the audio for this so we can all hear, and I'm going to play the AI audio, just because I'm a little bit too lazy to read, and ChatGPT is like one of those uh, students who's eager to read out loud for the class, so let's go ahead and do it. So, read aloud. Sharing your goals with others. Hold on one second. My audio is a little bit crazy. Why is, why is the audio crazy? Oh. I know what I did wrong. Okay, so now let's go ahead and share. Sharing your goals with others can have some downsides, depending on the situation and the people involved. Here are a few reasons why it might be considered a bad idea. One, premature satisfaction. When you tell others about your goals, you might get a sense of satisfaction or approval from their reactions. This can trick your brain into feeling like you've already accomplished something, reducing your motivation to actually work toward the goal. Number two, pressure and expectations. Sharing your goals can create pressure as others might start holding you accountable. While this can be motivating for some, it can also be stressful if you feel overwhelmed by the expectations of others. Three, criticism and negativity. Not everyone will be supportive of your goals. Some people might criticize or discourage you, which can undermine your confidence and make it harder to stay focused on your objectives. Number four, jealousy and sabotage. In some cases, sharing your goals can trigger jealousy or competition from others. This might lead them to subtly or not so subtly try to undermine your efforts. Five, distraction. Discussing your goals with others can lead to unnecessary distractions. Instead of focusing on your actions, you might spend too much time talking about what you plan to do, which can delay actual progress. Ultimately, whether or not you share your goals should depend on your personality, the nature of the goal, and the people you interact with. 
For some, sharing goals can provide accountability and support, while for others, it might be more beneficial to keep their ambitions private until they've made significant progress. Right. And so I think um, what's crazy is number four and f uh, three and four, right? So the criticism and negativity, I remember when a lot, like when I was like 18 or 19, I would share my ideas with other people and people would say things like, well, you don't have any life experience. What makes you think, you know, you can do this, right? And I would never, ever tell that to any young person, you know what I mean? Because it's like, dude, you know, spread your wings and fly and then um, remember to pay me back when I supported you, right? That, that's what I would do, you know, plant some plant some seeds and then the, you'll bear some fruit, hopefully. And then uh, jealousy and sabotage, right? Because uh, a lot of people, you know, you'll especially notice these days, if you do anything better than that or even if you express an idea hey i want to do better because the bar is so low people get jealous right people get jealous when you just share your ideas you're if you just say hey i think i want to do it right and this is why when i do like even youtube um i actually kept quiet i didn't say hey i'm starting this youtube channel come support me i just kept making video after video after video and then someone found out, and so some people were like, hey, are, are you doing this YouTube channel, Korean Atlanta Mentorship? Like, oh, that's me. You got me. And then, uh, you know, some people found out, but really, I just keep shut, uh, quiet about this. And, um, you know, people say, this is a bad idea. Like, okay, it's a bad idea. And then I'll keep making YouTube videos. Same thing with Velocity Being. Plenty of people on this channel making comments about how it's scam and um you know yada 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 and i'm like that's cool man it is a scam but i paid off my mortgage in three years so um you be right and i'll be um staring at this with my mortgage paid off under three years but you know the point is is that i think as a society uh i remember especially when i was a kid it's like share your ideas with everybody that you know and i was like damn that that was one of the biggest mistakes i ever did in my life I should have just learned to fit in and quote look like I'm part of the matrix and then and then do my thing, because the people that sometimes you want to share your life with are the ones who are going to do number three and four and sabotage you, which is kind of sad. But I didn't know what I didn't know until now, right? And and sometimes that's just the way that life is. All right, well that's it for today, everybody. So today's topic is uh, most people are negative, so just be quiet and just do your thing, right? Like, I don't need anybody's approval to make YouTube videos, so I just keep making them. And remember, silence is money, right? <laughs> now, once you get to a significant point, you know, then you pay other people to promote you and you make the money that way, or you just keep making YouTube videos like me if you're, if you're a little bit cheap on the ad budget. All right, well... That's it for today. So I guess I got to crank out another Velocity Banking video before I go to sleep. Good night, everybody. This is Korean Atlanta Mentorship.